am back with another video and today I will be finally giving my Johnny photo cards a new home and I've been meaning to do this for a really long time but 10 p.m. on a Friday night I decided to start doing it so I actually have a lot of photo cards to go through and find a new binder for but I decided to just start with Johnny's because he's the one that I am currently actively collecting. I do have a bunch of other photo cards that I still need to sort, um, such as like my Jongwoo photo cards, Tails, and then just like other miscellaneous ones. But I feel like if I do that all in one video, it's gonna be like a five hour video. So. For now, I'm just going to work on resleeving and putting the Johnny photo cards in this new binder. I used to have just like a plain nine pocket binder. So I combined all of my NCT photo cards in it. So I have like NCT Dream and then I already took out all of my Johnny photo cards from here. And then I have my Jomu and then Teo and then just like uh, a bunch of their miscellaneous stuff which <laughs> reminds me i probably need to take these out too i also have like the polaroids but right now i don't have like sleeves for them so i'm gonna leave them in there for now on top of putting the photo cards in a new binder. I'm also going to be re-sleeving them, trying out Mandu Deco's premium photo card sleeves. I believe the purple ones fit like the standard photo card, not the ones that are like weirdly shaped. And then I also decided that I want to start double sleeving. So I'm also going to be using their premium photo card sleeves, the 61 by 91 millimeter. And that's the pink version, which on their website says that it's perfect for slightly bigger photo cards and perfect for double sleeving. So I'm going to be doing that and hopefully it won't take long, but um, I know the process of removing the old sleeves is already <laughs> a process. <laughs> Just as a reference, what I'm currently using is the Mayday Game Standard USA Game size sleeves, which is the 56 by 87 millimeter. They're also acid free and there's no PVC in them so I think they're a great alternative and they actually fit the photo cards pretty well. Not sure if you can tell here um, but yeah there is a, a tiny gap um, so I'm not sure if Mandu Decos will have the same thing because you don't want your photo cards to be too snug but you also want them to not slip out easily so we will see right now Ooh, right off the bat just feeling the Mandu Deco ones they're way thicker than the Mayday sleeves. This just is like a little bit more flimsy. And this one is a little bit more sturdy. But again, the Mayday sleeves, I've used them for a really long time. They've kept my photo cards in good condition and it does the job of keeping your photo cards safe. I'm pretty confident that the album photo cards are in order but i do have a copy of his latest template and the one i use is by on twitter their username is oops yuck i always use their templates for everything i think they're the most accurate simple and they work on their templates pretty fast like as soon as the like the photo card scans come out they're always on top of it. Plus, theirs is really simple. I don't like a lot of designs um, when it comes to templates. I just want like a very straightforward template. I find that theirs is the most straightforward one. So yeah, I just have it open as a reference. So that's just gonna be like on the side for me. I do like mine to go in order by album. 
Ooh, that was like a really perfect fit. Yeah, that was like, that was like perfect. And it feels snug. Like it doesn't just slide in easily. So I mentioned earlier about the gap. It looks like just like, I guess all standard sleeves would have like those tiny gaps. Because again, you don't want it to be too snug to the point where you're, it feels like you're forcing the photo card in. So I'm trying to think like, how do I want to sleeve them? Okay, so I think how I'm gonna do it is put them in like this. I'm gonna double sleeve it the opposite way so that when I put it in, the opening is at the bottom and like the photo card just won't slide out. Although so far with these um, Mandu Deco sleeves, it looks like even if you shake them out, it's not gonna fall out, which is great. I think it's easier if I re-sleeve everything first. So I guess I could talk a little bit about when I started collecting Johnny's photo cards. I know my very first photo card that I ever got was his Superhuman, this one specifically. I don't even remember if I bought it or if I if I pulled it, I actually, I don't really remember. I think, I feel like I pulled Jongu for Superhuman, but I'm going to have to like look back in my Instagram story because I, rem I distinctly remember I posted a story of who I pulled. I'm going to show it right here if I find it. Most of these I got from Mercari Japan. I was able to get about, I wanna say like 80% of his photo cards up to like right when Love Holly came out. I think that's when I was like starting to collect his stuff more. And then starting with Sticker, I think Sticker, I was able to get all his photo cards because I, without having to trade. I, I probably did like one or two trades maybe, but I was able to get pretty much all of his photo cards because I hosted a group order after sticker favorite. I think favorite, I, favorite I also did a group order. So uh, it was pretty easy for me to, to get his stuff. Uh, I hope I don't mess. Ah, oh, I'm so used to like the, the other way. I feel like that is slowing me down like trying to rewire my brain to like sleeve it in this order that I'm doing. <gasps> ah! Okay, wait. These are so slippery that they I hope I didn't just like do it out of order. Okay. So they are slippery but like not in a bad way. It's just when you stack them up, <laughs> I feel like the sleeves are so fresh. <laughs> I don't really have much to compare to, but besides Mayday, I used to use, back when I didn't know anything about materials, I used um, the, I used the Ultra Pro card sleeves, but these are way bigger. Like your card is literally floating in the, in the sleeve, but yeah. So I used those ones for like the slightly bigger cards or um, for trading. Uh, speaking of trading, I find myself not trading as much anymore. I used to trade on like daily on my Instagram. I used to post all the time, but ever since trading events became a thing, I find myself just waiting for those kinds of events to trade. So pretty much I'll hoard a bunch of photo cards until the next trading event. The only thing is I feel like with trading in person, it doesn't really give you the chance to really examine the photo card. I mean, unless there was like obvious damage to the card and usually the people will tell you, but sometimes I wonder like, what if I got like a fake card? And then I feel like uh, in real, like in-person trading events, I feel like we all kind of just accept like that all the cards are real. <laughs> Not to make anyone paranoid, but you know, sometimes like I think about that, like if I go home and I'm like, 
is this card real or but yeah again besides the tabs like when you get the card you will definitely feel it i've gone to four trading events in the last three years the first one i went to was in 2021 and then i went to one last year and i went to two this year in those four times that i've gone you see pretty much the same people especially if you are trading for a specific group so in my case nct like i would see pretty much the same most of the same people that go to those events so this one was probably like when i was trying to catch up on everything this was probably the hardest for me to find it was easy to find if you were willing to pay like 50 dollars or something but i was not i actually don't even remember who i got that from but i'm pretty sure somebody was selling it for way less than that it was or maybe they were selling it for the price of a kino and i was so desperate that i just snatched it up but there was no way i was going to pay more than what a kino costs for it these days i feel like it's been very hard for collectors to really enjoy collecting just because I know there's a lot of scamming going on and there's a lot of time wasting and then also it's really hard to keep up when there's a lot of merch coming out. That's why I decided that for NCT specifically, I just want to focus on their albums. And then if there is a card that I really want to get, I'll just keep my eye out for it and buy it at a reasonable uh, at a price that's reasonable to me you know like they always say collect what you want to collect it doesn't make you any less of a fan if you don't collect everything but it doesn't make you a better fan or collector than another person if you have everything you dictate your own experience in any fandom or any community if you are the type of person who could care less about photo cards and you just really enjoy the music then great but there's also people who you know genuinely love collecting and this goes for like anything and you know we all just have to respect each other's interests and specifically for k-pop collecting we all just have to respect each other's like pacing or not really decisions but like just collecting whatever you want you know or not collecting because i know sometimes i'm on tiktok and i see somebody with the photo card like my one of my dream photo cards and obviously like i'll comment like how lucky they are i don't want this to end up being like a ted talk but you know if you are a collector whatever that may be you know just collect at your own pace don't feel pressured to collect everything or don't feel pressured to get everything right away like some of these things that are in my collection some of them I have been looking for for months or even a year and it's really in those times when you're not even actively looking for it where it just pops up so again you know collect at your own pace and collect what you want don't feel like you have to get everything, especially I know with SM, like they have merchandise and they're slapping on photo cards and even their TikTok account is saying like they know people want photo cards. So don't give in to capitalism. <laughs> I know K-pop is kind of like built on that, but it's all for fun. So take your time, collect what you want and just enjoy it. Enjoy it at your own time, at your own pace. Sorry if that became like a TED talk, but for me as a collector, sometimes I always felt like I needed to keep up with everyone or like other similar, like those who have this, who are collecting the same members as me. There was always that like, I don't know, that peer pressure, I guess, like in the back of my mind, but I've learned that actually the more you wait, <laughs> the easier it gets to finish your collection honestly like if you don't rush it just because 
people usually buy in bulk. I know I used to buy in bulk. Now I limit myself to two. I don't feel as pressured anymore to really keep up with everyone. Plus, I feel like the more it be it feels like a competition, it feels like a chore to do it, then that's when it becomes like really boring and kind of kind of stressful sometimes. So, and that's not what collecting is about. I really hope that I have been sleeving these correctly. So I think I'm gonna start putting everything in. Uh, I hope these don't slip out because they're so slippery. So I'm just gonna have my list open here to make sure that it is in order. So these A5 pockets that I did get, uh, I just bought them on Amazon. They're double-sided, which I really like because in my old my old binder, I was literally putting the the photo cards like back to back and then just putting them in in one pocket. I'm pretty sure I typed in like PVC free. They're not sliding in as smoothly as I hoped. I don't know if it's because like they're double sleeve. Let me try it with just one sleeve. Yeah, they're not like they're not like sliding in smoothly, so that's fine. I mean, that's good. At least I feel like they won't slip out easily. I know my old binder, they were like slipping out pretty easy. But what I do like is the fact that when I slide in the cards, the sleeve doesn't like it doesn't crumple up. My old one, especially since I was doing it back to back, like the sleeve would crinkle up. So, but I do feel the A5s just make everything look cleaner. The only downside about double sided pockets is that you don't get to see the back. I know some people like to see that, but I was already doing it like this prior, so it doesn't really bother me. I know for some people they want to see like back to back, so you can see like the like the messages. I don't really collect his Japanese photo cards just because I, I hardly buy their Japanese albums. The only ones I bought were Love Holic, but it was like the C version. And then I bought the Digipack Japan version for two baddies. So that was it. So these ones are like miscellaneous photo cards, but they are like POBs or I think this one came from like one of the merch packs and then this one is a POV and then I think this is also a POV but like yeah this one was like from a merch pack so but it was from stickers so I'm gonna include it with sticker once <laughs> once it gets there so those ones I do want to include which can be kind of annoying just because when you have to rearrange everything <laughs> You have to take out all the cards and that's probably the most annoying part about doing this which which is partly the reason why i held off on doing it for so long because i knew it was going to take me a really long time sometimes honestly i just get lazy to do it so i really have to find like the motivation to to do it and that would be today also, another reason why I decided to switch over from a nine pocket to a four pocket and from like a full size binder to a A5 is that I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like it looks cuter <laughs> like this. Also, for some reason, the like all nine pocket sleeves that I got were, I don't know, they're like warping or something, but... They're from Ultra Pro. I don't know. I've seen like other collectors. I've seen how their binders look in there. It looks pretty flat and it looks really nice, but mine, and I've already bought like another pack because I thought like, oh, maybe it's just like the pack that I got, but no, it, there was something with it and I just didn't like how it looked. It didn't, it wasn't laying flat like the way that this is. That's also one of the big reasons why i wanted to switch over to an a5 i prefer nine pockets just because i like to see a full page again because of the pockets that i was using the warping was like a big issue for me just like for aesthetic purposes ah uh, okay 
<sighs> See, I knew I was going to forget something because I was talking. I'm really conflicted if I should do... Did I do a POV in here? Okay, I didn't. Okay, so just randomly decided literally right now. I think I'm just going to put the POBs and the like miscellaneous ones in the back. Because I don't want to have to like move everything. Like say if I find another POB from a specific album, I don't want to have to like move everything. So that is what I have decided. So the pages do feel a lot heavier because, you know, because of the double sleeving. Um, so I'm not sure if, if it would have been better if I just kept it with one sleeve but judging by like the quality of these pockets that I got I think because this is not giving very much acid free how come I don't see this one on the list oh I think this might be like a target or like a USA version or something I know the person whose who's template I use, I, I believe they mentioned that they purposely do not add Target exclusives or like USA exclusives because just because it's not as accessible to everyone. Obviously, most people can only get these albums at Target or in the US. So the template creator really just wanted to make it, make the templates where it's available for everyone where everyone can get the photo card basically i don't think i got his two baddies japan photo book version oh did i do it wrong oh yeah okay hold on it's throwing me off because like he's wearing the same thing so the order is different i think the smcu i'm just gonna put in with the like miscellaneous photo cards so I am now so I have I also have a bunch of miscellaneous Johnny photo cards so I have some from the season's greetings this one was from their concert this one I don't remember I think this might be like a fan sign photo card and then this one was from the um, Daikon. This one is from the Slow Acid. This one I got from my friend. I think it came with like the Grip Talk. This one is from like their their bakery, their baker house. Again, Seasons Greetings. These ones are the ones that were on my wish list for the longest time. I think ever since I started collecting Johnny. Actually, this one, just this one specifically, was on my wish list, but it came as a set. So finally, I have it. And then this one is from uh, Lucky Draw, Two Betty's Lucky Draw, Sanrio, and then this one is a Baker House again. So yeah, I have a bunch of like just random miscellaneous ones. Again, like these are the ones that I saw that you know that were cute and that I wanted to collect. So okay, so I know my friend. She gifted me this for my birthday. Okay, so yeah, I remember there was a photo card. Good thing I remember because I did not want to have to rearrange. Oh my goodness. I just saw two. <laughs> I just saw this in a pile. I almost forgot about it. So yeah, I have like a lot of like random, random cards. I think this one I got Utah. Where's the photo card? I think I have the photo card somewhere. I just realized for most of me sleeving these, I think I was like off cam because I still have a lot of desk space this way. So I was leaving it down here. I was leaving it down here. <laughs> so sorry if it's off cam. Okay, for this one, I don't... Okay, for sure, it won't fit the... 
So in this case, I am keeping this one in the Ultra Pro sleeve. Also, if you are watching this and you are triggered by anything like such as the way I'm sleeving something or if you think there's anything that could potentially damage my cards, please let me know because I would rather know now than later on and something gets damaged or if I'm doing more harm than good to my collection. I am by no means an expert when it comes to collecting. Uh, so a story about the, I think this was a 2022 photo card. So annoying because I bought the season's greetings. It was sealed and everything, but all of the photo cards had like this mark right here. I don't know what it is. Like I tried like smudging it off, but it just would not. And it was for all of them. And unfortunately for some of them, it was like on their face. So that was a big bummer, but luckily his is like on his shirt. So it, I don't really care. <laughs> How I normally like open up these sleeves is like I like twist it like this and I guess you know because these are pretty sturdy but if you twist them a certain way I don't know if you could see it but it's gonna leave like one of these like marks like these dents so I would not use that so I guess I have to be careful too on how I open them. I guess try to open it closer to the opening. I mean, I think most people do that, but sometimes I'll, I'll open it in the middle of the sleeve, but try to do it at the opening, I guess, to avoid like creases like that. We are almost done. My original plan was way before I even was working on this and I already wanted, I knew I wanted to get a, a new binder. I knew that I wanted to separate my album photo cards with like miscellaneous photo cards. I wanted to create like a divider. So I wanted to get one of those like one, one page pockets and I wanted to do like a little collage or something, but I wanted to do something that will like separate the album photo cards from the miscellaneous ones. Oh, my worry is if this one is gonna fit in here so we will see sorry if the angle is a little different because my phone ran out of storage so i had to delete a bunch of stuff and fix it so i'm gonna try to put everything in here as fast as i can and just as i suspected this one does not fit i actually don't know what i'm gonna do with it wait let me just I'm trying to rush this. Oh, it does fit, but it's the sleeve. Hold on. Anyway, because I'm in a bit of a time crunch, I am going to deal with this later. So I'm going to leave a space right here. I am really trying to rush through this just because I want to be able to finish it and show everything. Oh gosh, I have not even decided how I want to do this. I love how like suddenly I got so quiet just because I'm like trying to focus on finishing. I will say that just doing a single sleeve works <laughs> slightly better Okay, I ran out of storage once again, so you might hear my computer going haywire because I'm trying to export like the first video. But anyway, I didn't have time to show the rest. I'm just gonna do a, a quick flip through of how it all looks put together. So I really like how it turned out. I feel like the pictures are more clear compared to how my old uh, setup was. 
yeah i feel like the sleeves were really good despite like the difficulty fitting them in into the pockets but i think that's more of the pockets that was an issue but other than that i really liked how it all turned out and i'm going to mention or try to link some of the items that you saw in this video such as where the pockets and sleeves are from so this is how how it looks so yeah i hope you all enjoyed this video um despite it being a little bit uh chaotic towards the end or a little bit TED Talk-ish in the middle of it all. But yeah, I'm hoping to do more videos of these, especially since I have a lot more to uh, rehome. So I will see you all in my next video. Bye.